Right, welcome back to another Wainwright walk and today because I, because I loved it so much last time we're back in Langdale to finish off this area and go across the Langdale Pikes now then what is there about six Wainwrights today I think starting with Pavey Arc behind this tree then we've got Thunder Car Knot, uh, Harrison Stickle, Loft Crag, Piker Stickle, and then round on to uh, Rosset Pike for my first time, and then back down Stakes Pass. I think it's about 10 miles this one, but we won't be going any higher than sort of 700 metres today. Path's pretty icy already. Um, but hopefully it won't be as bad as coming down the band from Bofell about 10 days ago because that was treacherous and uh, hopefully I can get round back to at least the uh, valley path before dark anyway just parked at the uh, new Dungeon Gill pub £8.50 all day not too bad very quiet it's a Monday morning but anyway let's get this ascent in and let's get up to Stickle Tarn directly ahead let's go So it's a pretty clear day today, however, even at this low level, it is brutally windy. It's got a biting chill. I don't know what it's going to be like up on the tops there. Or how slippy them paths are going to be up each pike. I know pike of stickles a bit of a scramble, even in the summer conditions. So hopefully we'll be able to get up there. But, uh, look at this. I think we're out looking out to uh, is it maybe side pike ling we were fell that we did a couple of months ago I think. I love walking up into this valley, it's a great path, just lovely stone crafted there. Oh. Alright, so I'm quickly starting to get warmed up now. There is blaring sunshine. Which I believe is the last we're going to see of it for this week because tomorrow the whole of Cumbria has a yellow warning for snow, so maybe some travel disruption and the like. I'm not too confident walking out in snow yet, I've done it once or twice, but uh, if it's not too bad, I did intend to do skidder in the snow, possibly even grass mill or two routes that I'm fairly familiar with. But if not, this walk I'll have to do for this week, I'm off this week. So, intention is to do two or three walks. But, uh, better to be safe, if the, if the weather won't allow it then, there's always another day. Just coming out of these trees now. They're about to be assaulted by the wind once more. So, this is the first of its kind I've ever seen. We've got like a frozen waterfall just here. I'll say it's 90% frozen. Just shows you how cold it is to uh, get moving water to freeze still. That is, uh, spectacular that. Anyway, making good progress due to this path. It's. Uh, there's no loose stuff, it's very fixed. Little minor scramble down there, but nothing to write home about. Oh, 
Oh Lord. A bit of ice on the path here. Right, so yeah, like I say, it is bitterly cold. Look at this water. It's congealed ice. I don't think I'm going to do much filming on this one, I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> I know it's going to be much colder up there. Oh, let's get it over with. Right, so we're out of the sun now and we're just funneling up through this gully here. I'm a little bit concerned because we do have to cross this river in a well, it's back in a, in a second and there's a lot of ice so hopefully I can navigate through it a little bit of a scramble here there is ice so you've got to be really careful picking your way up through here still continuing a little bit further and then we should rejoin the path oh, there it is on the other side of this rock so I've still got to cut across this back here I'll give you a close up of that in a second once I get over there it's pretty tough oh I really do need to buy some micro spikes I just haven't got round to it yet hopefully I can get by without them for this walk anyway that's another battery shredded already I've only been walking less than an hour so like I say I'm probably not going to do a lot of filming on this one it's not going to be time with these batteries in this cold weather but I here it is there's a bit of a bridge across this beck ah it's not too bad right just have to cut across this beck here try not to stand on any ice a little bit tricky but we're over and then straight up the gully to Stickle Tarn. Next stop. Here comes the sun again. And here we are, just with our first view of Pinvy Arc. And we should see Stickle Tarn any second now. Here's the wall. So we're going to cut up to the right here, along here, and that's Harrison Stickle. I think the highest point of the day but anyway let's have a look at this tarn oh here we are stickle tarn absolutely beautiful wow rough and cold for a swim today don't see any tents very popular wild camping spot probably top three in England in all the Lake District now this is going to be quite tricky to get over <laughs> just pure ice oh my goodness oh dear uh, start on the rocks that are peering out of the water and then avoid the ones that I have ice on. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, I think there's just enough of them. Oh, bloody hell. Ah! Yeah, you can't stand on it whatsoever. I thought it might have been deep enough, but no, it's not. Oh, good lord. Oh, I think it's maybe safer just standing on it. Oh. oh. Right, we're over. Sure, that wall's much higher than it was when I was here last time. Gloves on, gloves off, gloves on, gloves off, hat on, hat off. No consistency with the wind on this walk. We might be hitting some actual dusty snow now, so. That might make walking a little bit safer than on icy paths. It's largely grassy up here from what I remember. Right, 
right, so we're just following the path round and hopefully at some point it'll cut up left onto the plateau and then it's up to PBR from there. Right, so we're just going to cut across this beck again and I believe the path cuts right up here. Well, that's what I did last time. Yeah. I'm not sure I feel safe on this walk. I'm going to try my best not to kill myself. Bloody hell, it's been tough. Right. So that's just over the little beck. They're the hardest parts. When you don't have micro spikes, you've got to be 100% focused. Take no chances, but anyway. I don't think there's too many more of them on this route now. This is just straight up here. To the base of Paviac. Right, so we're just coming up to the cairn that marks the final ascent to Paviac Summit. Pretty steep, so get the job done very quickly. But I'm gonna get some bricks in after that. Oh wow, look at this view! Absolutely beautiful. Oh, right, nearly there now. I started to hit nice soft snow, so protects me from the ice, I think. Ah, you don't have to get up here rapid. It's sheer vertical. Oh, oh what a day. What a morning. <laughs> Only an hour and a half in. The initial ascent is always the worst though. I'm sure you'll all agree. Right, here we are, just approaching the summit of the first win right of the day of Pavey Arc. Oh. There's knee grip to get up here. <laughs> Someone that. Yeah, what's that there we go. Just... Right, so here we are on the summit of Pavey Arc. Right, so that's just us down from PVR. My batteries are being shredded, so what I'm going to do to get these next win right is I'm going to do a bit of a montage video of all the summits. I'm not going to film too much more on this one, it's impossible. But anyway, our day to Thunder Car, not next. So, Harrison Stickle, Block Drag, Harrison Stickle. Oh, the lilac snow Drifting down so soft and slow Outside my window I watch it go Oh, the lilac snow Though the world may seem so still it's coming in a distant chill With memories of winter's past Of the ones I wish would have lasted Oh, the light like snow tells secrets of long ago Of carol song of gifts we know Oh, the lilac snow whispers softly on the wind As memories come flowing in oh,
Burns the candles on the tree glow Softly lighting up the lilac snow Then the quiet of the winter night Was filled with wonder and pure delight Oh, the lilac snow tells secrets of long ago Of carols sung, of gifts we've known Oh, the lilac snow whispers softly on the wind As memories come flowing in As the lilac snow falls Right as we head down Rossard Pike, I just thought I'd wrap up the adventure from here. Apologies for the quality of the video this week. Can't really film on the tops. It's letting me film now because it's, I'm quite down low and it's starting to get warmer. So yeah, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back out on the fells very, very soon. Peace. Right, so I just thought I'd put an end piece onto this video. I don't often do this, but my batteries were shredded throughout that whole walk. Couldn't film anything after Pervia, to be honest with you. Got a few shots on my phone, as you might have seen there. Pretty awful quality, but uh, anyway, just to sum up the walk. Um, I did get to Thunakar, not after... Uh, Pavey Arc and I put one of my seal screen gloves, I've just got these for Christmas from my mother. Now I put one down while I went to find a rock, because I get a rock from every mountain just as a souvenir. And I turned around and I thought, where the hell is my glove? <laughs> um, and I couldn't find it. Spent 30 minutes on Thunder Car Knot, could not find my glove, so I was devastated, absolutely devastated. So anyway, we carried on to Harrison Stickle, Loft Crag, Pike Stickle, round on to uh, Rosset Pike. Very easy walk, to be fair, although not in icy conditions. So first thing I'm doing this week is I'm going to get some micro spikes. I had no place being there without micro spikes. There's a lot of ice to dodge. Um, I, I don't have survived this much without them, to be fair. So yeah, that's going to be an investment. Uh, I need from this week, uh, but anyway, as I came down from uh, Rosset Pike, still thinking about my glove, wearing only one of them, I could have done with both of them that day as well because it was absolutely freezing. I'm talking minus four, minus five, maybe even more with the wind. Um, but anyway, I was walking back past the old Dungeon Gill pub and on the side of the wall next to Stickle Gill Car Park, lo and behold, my glove was on the wall. <laughs> and I thought, that's my glove. So, absolutely kind. Thank you, whoever brought that down. Um, there's still good people in this world, and I absolutely owe you. Um, if, if, if you happen to see this video, or you're part of any groups on the Facebook, which I'm a member of, I, I'm, I'm calling out to you because that is really, really appreciated. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But anyway, hope the video wasn't too bad. I did what I could with the footage that I got. But anyway, take care of yourselves and I'll see you back out on the fells very, very soon. Peace.